In this video, we're going to make uh, an item appear at a random position. So I've got this key, and say I have like a, a maze or something. Maybe I want this key to be over there, and the next time I play the game, I want it to be over there. So to do this, we're going to go into Assets, uh, Scripts. So if you don't have that, right-click, Create Folder, Scripts. Go into that. And really anywhere, right-click, Create C sharp script, call it random position, and open that up. So, first we need a list of all positions. So, that's going to be a public, so we can change it in Unity. You'll see. Uh, there's going to be positions are vector threes. Three means there's three numbers the X, Y, and Z. And we're going to call this positions. And actually, we're going to do these two square brackets. This makes it an array. So it's going to be a list of vector threes, an array. So many different positions. So now that if we just save this, go back to Unity. And if you click on your key or your whatever, your object that you want to go to different spots, add component random position. So now position shows up here because it was public, so other things can change it, like, you know, over here. We're going to make size, let's say, 3. So there's three different positions. Uh, for x, I'll do negative 7. Here I'll do 7, and here I'll do 12. And for all the heights, I'll do 10, I guess. So these are my three positions that I, I I chose. I could make more or less or whatever. So now back to the code. When we start, we don't need update because we're not going to do it many times. We're going to do it once and start. So when we start, we need to make our transform.position equal to one of these positions. So positions, and the way you get just one of them is like this. So I could write 0, this is the first one, 1 is the second one, 2 is the third. If I write 5 or 58, it'll actually crash, it'll give you an error, because it's too many. It's too far, we don't have that many, I mean. So instead of 0, 1, or 2, this needs to be a random number. And the way you do that is up here, we'll say int random number is equal to random dot range. So here the way this works is there's a minimum and maximum. Uh, the minimum, if we say zero, it'll minimum zero, but that's included. The max, if I say three, for example, this will be zero, one, or two. We can't get three. It's exclusive. So it's inclusive on the minimum and exclusive on the maximum, and that will get you. So for the 3, we don't actually want 3, because this, this will work right now. But what if I do 10? If I have 10 random positions, you know, we want to have this 3 be accurate. So you just do positions.length. So if we have 3 things, this will be 0, 1, or 2. If we have 10 things, it will be 0, 1, 2, 8, 9. So that's good. So save this, and now when we press play, the key is up there. We'll press play again. The key is still up there. Press play again. Oh, that's over there now. And it's going to be random every time.